Chuck, I got a good one for you today. Oh, oh good. Okay. I'm glad. Yeah, it's called the initial digit problem. All righty. Yeah, yeah. Never, so, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay, so here it goes. Ready? Go ahead. So, one of the great challenges and needs of science and technology and many other things in society that you might not have known about is the need to generate an authentically random number. Okay. Okay. There are occasions where you need a completely random number. Like a pat like if you're generating a password. Exactly. Exactly. What is the the dual the, the secondary code that you need? That's we're told that that's random. It's very hard to produce a purely random number. Mm. It's extremely hard. And if you step back and you'd lay down enough of them, you say, wait a minute, I see a pattern there. And that pattern was the algorithm that generated the random number. And you can often have it revealed in that way. Okay. There you go. So uh, what seems to be totally random is when a radioactive element decays within its cycling. And so there have been people who've tried to attach a random number, have that assign the random number. So that just to let you know that the... the depths to which we have reached to establish pure randomness in a phenomenon or in an experiment that we're conducting. You might ask, why not just find numbers at random in society? Just open a book, pick a number out. Well, there you go. Why not? Open another book, a different book. And there you have it. Unread. Pick, close your eyes. Right. Park how, the book. That's how I get my lottery numbers. numbers. It, it, lo okay. Just pick numbers randomly that have been generated by civilization. If you do that, nearly a third of all those numbers will begin with the numeral one. Wow. So they're not random. Wow. This is the famous initial digit problem. So if you were to truly, on a random basis, pick books, and, and then randomly, pick, randomly numbers pick numbers out of all, out of all those books. books. By the way, even page numbers. Even okay? page numbers. Even pay, any number that appears in anything we created, ever. Close your eyes and randomly pick. Okay. One third of those numbers. Are Nearly begin a third of those numbers will one. begin with the number one. Correct. Interesting. So they're not random. That's right. They're not random. Oh. Okay. So so that that's an indication of something. Okay. Because if you want uh, numbers, let's say, a zero to nine, and you want to pick random, you'd expect each of those numbers to appear 10% of the time, right? Because okay, there are 10 digits right. there. It's 10 digits. Zero, to zero nine. through nine is 10 digits. All right? So, sure. Sure. But, w but when we count things, we don't start at zero, right. right? We don't say, you're zero, you're one. No, don't call me zero. Well, right? I'm number say, one. That, yeah, there was a time when I... They, they did say that. <laughs> About you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, all right, we're picking right. sides. Chuck, but by zero. the way, <laughs> zero is one of the more important numbers ever conceived. So there you go. maybe take you didn't know that at the time. You say, thanks for the compliment. Right, there you go. So take that, Peter and Hakeem and Jeff. <laughs> Screw you guys. I was a Schoolyard, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so watch how this works. I mean, it's fascinating, okay? If you start counting, I, so, so let's do this. If they're just the digits, there'd be a 10% chance you should get a 9 or an 8 or a 7 or a 6, okay? Right. If you're talking about groups of 10 between 1 and 100, there should be a 10% chance you're in the 90s, a 10% chance you're in the 80s, right? Right. 10% chance you're in the 70s. If you're counting hundreds, there's a 10% chance you're in the hundreds, 10% chance you're in the 200s, 10%, right? Okay. Does, does that, makes, that make sense to makes you? Makes sense, yeah. Okay, so watch. So let's do this. Let's pull out all two digit numbers that we possibly can. Two digit numbers. Okay. In the world. I, like I said, about a third of them will be, will begin with one. And so you can't do this to generate random numbers. How does that happen, you might ask? Yes. Okay. I am watch asking. What, okay. <laughs> watch what happens. Uh, whatever it was you were doing in civilization, you were counting something, weren't you? You were counting years. You were counting students in a classroom. You were counting, you were counting things, correct? Oh, right, we do that. When you're counting, 
How often do you count things and end at exactly 100? Uh, when there's 100 things to count. But typically, if you're in the, it, or to 99, if you're in two digit mode, you're gonna be done counting typically before you get to the 90s, typically. You're okay. gonna be done counting. Okay, so watch what happens, okay? I'm at the number 10. Mm -hmm. What percent of my numbers begin with one? From 10 on? No, I'm just, I just found that number, 10. Uh, I have one number. What percent of them begin with a one? If, if you only have one number, 100. 100%, okay. okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to the next number, 11. All my numbers begin with one until I get to 19. That's right. All of them. Okay, so now watch. Finally, I'm at 20. What, so I have 10 to 20. What percentage of my numbers begin with one? 10 to 20, well then now 90. 90% 90 right. begin with one. Now I get to 29. What percent of my numbers began with one? Well, now it's uh, 30. No. I mean, sorry, 20. No. I'm sorry, it's 50. Because half 50%. of 50%. We're in two-digit land, right. land now. Right, we're, we're in two-digit land. Half your numbers have begun with one. So if you're picking numbers randomly, and, and people only ever counted up to 20, half of your numbers are going to begin with one. Uh-huh. Okay? Now, let's go up to 30. So now, a third of all your numbers will begin with one. Right. So now, let's get to 40. Now, it's 25%. And 59, now it's 15%. Only when you get to 99 will the numbers that began with 1 be 10% of all the numbers. Right. Only when you get there. If you haven't ever gotten there, you will never get 10% of your numbers having begun with 1. That is really freaky. It's freaky. It's that completely freaky. Is and I'm sure people right now are just like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, we can, no. But that is really freaky because you got to get there in order for you to be there, but you can't randomize while you're on your way. While there. you're on your way. That's Jesus. right. Jesus. Okay, how about this? Oh, dude, that's ever so since, creepy. Ever since the year zero, the right. birth of Jesus. How many years have begun with the number one? What fraction of them? Wow, until now. Oh, God. I, I don't know. I see now I'm trying to figure it out because. No, approximately. We, oh, approximately. That would be until now because we just yeah. changed to two. Yeah. So I'm going to say uh, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> At least half. It has to be. Okay? Because right. after the year 999, every year, year began, began with the number with one, one up All to 1999. Way up until 1999. That's half of them years. Exactly. And add to that, add to that year one. Right. Add to that all the years that were in the teens. teens right. Okay. And then the year 100. And all, and all the years that were in 100. Right. Add that to the fact that half of the rest of them began with one, and you have more than half of all the years. So if you pull years out of books, you're going to be way swayed towards um, the number one. This is such a freaky math problem in terms of, I mean, well, a thought process. Yeah, in yeah, terms it's, of it's freaky. It's a, it's a freaky thought process. It's freaky. Because you never think of it like this. But no, you, you don't. can't randomize while you're, that, while you're doing this. That's, That's correct. That's amazing. So let me just repeat. If you got to 999, then yes, in a three-digit world, then yes, 10% of the numbers will have begun with one. Right. But for any other number that you stopped at, because you're picking randomly out of all of this, the ones will be overrepresented by as much as a, a, a as one third. The average uh, you can average it, and you get a, a third of all numbers begin with the number one. So you cannot pick random numbers out of books or anything else humans have ever done and believe that they're actually random because they're not. Wow. Or you can claim they're random and then bet that. <laughs> 
with someone who hasn't heard this explainer, yep. and then you can win money off of them by what the, is the most likely. Uh, so freaky. Yeah. Let me just say this. Mathematicians have way too much time on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. it's part of the problem of generating random numbers. You can't do it with stuff we counted because it's not going to work. That, I, I got to tell you, man, I mean, this, this is fascinating. When you, you really got to take time and, and think about this. It is so counterintuitive when you're thinking about a randomized process. It is right. counterintuitive, but I, I see it exactly what you're saying. Once you go in to pull it out, it's no, <laughs> it's it's not no longer because random. because the process that because, generated the number yes. favors lower numbers compared to the high numbers because exactly. everybody's counting through low numbers. Wow. Do, do you know in the Guinness Book um, for a long while, you know the most common street name in all cities? Let me see. Elm. Yeah, <laughs> well, you might think Main Street, Main, you know that, yeah. but no, you know what it was for the long time. What First, First Street? First. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, First, you know because if you're counting any streets, right. it's going to have a First Street. Now I'm just. It's going to have think, a First. Uh, here we are, guys. I'm sorry. We're, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we're from um, uh, Planet Common Sense, and um, <laughs> we're just trying to figure out, uh, based on our observations here. Why you people are so lazy? Um, <laughs> every single city, the, the first street is first street. It's first street. There it is. That's and first great. begins with the number one. That's all. Like, that's awesome. If your street has twenty streets, half the streets will begin with the number one. And there you go. There it is. That's all we got time for. Oh Jack. man, that was good. That's yeah, wild. Yeah, I mean, it freak out your brain. That is wild. Yeah. That is wild. Oh it's man, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I learned this when I was in high school. We had some good math. All right, and here. now I like, feel stupid. Think. No, no. I went to I went to a geeky. High, I went to the Bronx well, High School you of went Science, to Bronx Science, which so. counts eight Nobel prizes among its graduates. Yeah. So that's it's the. It's, okay, it's, I feel better about myself. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we got to quit quit it there. That's been another explainer. Thanks for being there, Chuck. All right, a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson, keep looking up. <laughs>